Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a compound inequality involving and. Let's jump into our example where we have x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 11. In other words, x minus 6 has to be greater than or equal to 0 and x minus 6 has to be less than or equal to 11. Now when it comes to solving compound inequalities involving and, we have two ways we can do it. We can solve each inequality separately or at the same time. I'll go through both ways and you can use what works best for you. Let's start by separating this into the two inequalities that make up the compound inequality. This way helps us break everything down and helps us understand a little more. And it can help us stay a little more organized. So we have zero is less than or equal to x minus six and x minus six is less than or equal to 11. So those are the two inequalities that we need to solve. Let's start with zero is less than or equal to x minus six. Well, we need to isolate x. We have x minus six. So we need the inverse operation of subtraction. That's addition. So let's add six to the right side of the inequality. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So let's add six to the left side as well. Now the six is on the right cancel each other out. X is now isolated, so we have X is greater than or equal to, and then on the left side, zero plus six gives us six. So we end up with six is less than or equal to X if we are reading this from left to right. Or we can also say X is greater than or equal to six. So thinking about it and reading it with the variable coming first. And we can even write it out that way if it helps. So x is greater than or equal to six. Now we need to solve x minus six is less than or equal to 11. Let's isolate x. So we need to add six to the left side. That means we need to add six to the right side as well. Now the six is on the left cancel each other out. X is now isolated. So X is less than or equal to, and then on the right, 11 plus six gives us 17. So we have X is less than or equal to 17. And now we're done solving our two inequalities. X has to be greater than or equal to six and X has to be less than or equal to 17. Now we can combine these and write this compound inequality without the word and. So we have X is greater than or equal to six and less than or equal to 17. So X has to be greater than or equal to six and x has to be less than or equal to 17. x has to be both. x has to satisfy both. Remember, a solution of a compound inequality involving and is any number that makes both inequalities true. It has to work for both. Now let's solve this a second way. And for this, let's rewrite it over here. So we have x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 11. Now here, we're going to solve both inequalities at the same time and solve from the compound inequality written like this. We're not going to separate it with the word and. So let's isolate the variable. We're subtracting six. So we need to undo that with the inverse operation, addition. Let's add six here in the middle. That means we need to add six over here on the left and add six over here on the right. Now the sixes in the middle cancel each other out. So X is now isolated. We have X is greater than or equal to, 
on the left, zero plus six gives us six. And then X is less than or equal to. And then on the right, we have 11 plus six is 17. So we end up with X is greater than or equal to six and less than or equal to 17. So we get the same thing here. And really, we solved it the same way. We just didn't separate it. So there you have it. There's how to solve a compound inequality involving and. We can either solve each inequality separately or at the same time. Use what works best for you. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.